Hey everybody, and welcome back to uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. I almost forgot what we were playing for a second. In the last episode, we did just a bunch of tutorial stuff. We chose our house, and uh, we're here on day one. Alright, so here we go. Uh, first things first is you always start in your room, and uh, I never actually went over it in the last episode, but you saw a bunch of options on that uh, menu at the beginning of the day. Every single first day of the month, I always recommend you explore, because there's always new things to do at the beginning of every single month. That's definitely the thing you want to do at the beginning of the month. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, over here you have your journal. That's New Game Plus stuff only, so I wouldn't worry about it. Um, the bulletin board is where you can find quests. You can also just... Uh, Use them to teleport to any place that you've unlocked already to where the quests are active at, and then you can just do them from there. And then on the top part of the screen, you see a blue circle with that one in it. Those are your, that's your time. Every single time you start a new day, you only have a certain amount of time to do things. On the first day, you only have one unit of time to do anything with. Uh, that goes up with your uh, professor level, and mine's maxed out now, so I would have, I think, nine is the max. But uh, that's already way more than you ever need to do anything anyways. So every single day uh, throughout the monastery, you can find just the normal characters all over the place just doing normal human things. Uh, so you can go and talk to them if you'd like. Okay. Uh, so where we're starting right now is the quarters. Uh, you can. This is usually the place where you find most people. Uh, Dimitri is right here and he has a quest for us. They both do. This guy uh, is to do. He's one of the people that are in our house, so I'd recommend you get to know him because you're going to get to know him a lot. So go His Highness has said that he trusts you, and I have no cause for doubt. But if you mistreat him in any way, I will take action. Cool. I have a request. Kind of seems a bit angry. Uh, he got a quest for us. He wants us to go plant some stuff in the greenhouse, which we're going to go do in a minute. And then we have Dimitri, Here, there who has the soon. actual quest that we need we to be We must doing. not neglect our training. I trust that you will carefully study the strengths and weaknesses of each of your students, that you may, regardless of the results, you as this really is your first one. This. All of it's pretty basic. He lets you, uh, go over individual things here if you uh want some you know help and guides none of it's really important right now because i pretty much just went over all of it anyways the facilities we're all going to go over one by one once we're done so the quest is complete and uh we don't have to deal with that anymore and now we have the dormitories the second part of the dormitories we already spawned up at the first part we don't need to see the overhead look uh, let's see. Leone, hey Bernadetta, Sylvain. He's hey, also in our, uh, if you, we could try in our, uh, professor, class. Professor, I've so got a small favor to ask. Gotta get to know him, too. And he tells us about the dining staff up in, um, up, uh, up in the, <laughs> god damn it, what's it called? I mean, the, the kitchen that's used for something else. This is the greenhouse. This has a bunch of different things you can do in it. By a bunch of different things, I mean one thing. I... Um, Throughout the area, you can find small little blue sparkly dot things like this. Those are items you can pick up. They usually have good things that you can use. Uh, this one just had seeds, but uh, you get the point. Uh, you can talk to the greenhouse keeper and uh, do some gardening. Yes. Gardening, it's all pretty basic. Uh, you can plant whatever you want, and I have deduced seeds. This was part of the quest he wanted us to do, so we can give her her seed, uh, deduced seeds and then plant them. And then... Uh, we can cultivate them, which means we'll get more things out of it the next time we come back. Uh, at the beginning, all you have is infused with magic, which is it's free. But uh, as you um, level up your professor level, all these other ones become unlocked periodically. But we're just going to use this one anyways, because it's the only one I really feel like doing, because I want to burn my money on this. This is not the thing you really want to be burning your money on. And I believe that is it. Anyway. And then uh, the next time you go exploring, so the next week, the seeds will be grown and she'll have stuff for us. So, cool. Mm -hmm. The infusing with stuff just kind of, uh, no. the giving things to, oh my god. My mind's all over the place right now. <laughs> uh, when you use something on your plants, it just means you're going to get a bigger reward when they're going to be harvested. So, just keep that in mind. Next, we have the fish keeper. Uh, we haven't unlocked fishing yet, so that'll take around two seconds to unlock. We'll just go grab that right on now. This is the dining hall, which is right up the stairs from the fishing pond. Uh, in the dining hall, there is a few things you can do in here. Uh, watch cutscenes, for one. 
Uh, we're gonna skip it. Uh, dining staff. This is the guy that Sylvain wants us to talk to. Uh, if we talk to the dining staff, we can have a meal with any one of our, uh, any one of our, uh, actually pretty much anybody in the entire school, honestly. Uh, if you look on the right hand, left hand side of the screen where it shows blue arrows pointing up and then we go down and it shows, uh, red arrows pointing down. That means that these people like the food that's being served and these people do not. It's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, today's special is just, um... I'm not, I'm not really sure of the difference between today's special and the full menu is, because it really makes no difference. Uh, so there's that. And everything you use, uh, everything you do costs your own resources, so you can't just constantly go through all over this place in here and just buy out all their food. You have to use your own resources, which right now we have none. So we can share a meal with people, and when you share a meal with people, what happens is uh, they have Today's sort of little dialogue, none of it's too important. Um, your support levels go up, and their, um, well, that's not activity, their, god damn it, I forget what it's called. Motivation, uh, their motivation nice. goes up. I knew I could count on you. And uh, that's used for something I'll explain uh, near the end of this episode. It's a whole menu, and we'll deal with it later. There's Felix, he's also in our house. There's Petra, she's not in our house. And here's Flame. Hello there, Professor. Well, I call you that. Uh, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. Should the opportunity, the mods, might uh, you help me with a favor? Her quest is to tell us about fishing. So we accept that quest and it's pretty basic. We'll get to that in just a minute. Well, I guess we're doing it right now because it's right here. Uh, Marianne's at the dock, not important. So if we talk to the fish keeper and uh, fish in the pond, you can use bait. Right now, all we have is Flane's bait, and you can cast your line in the water. You cast your line in the water, and then you wait for an A to appear, and then you... The goal is to fit the blue circle inside of that uh, purple circle, and uh, each one of you and the fish have a health bar. Every single time you hit the A button, if it's inside the circle, your health bar goes uh, down just a little, but if it's outside that uh, purple circle, then uh, it goes down by a lot. And uh, once the fish's health bar runs out, you catch the fish. If your health bar runs out, then the fish gets away. It's pretty self-explanatory. So we can't go past here. That guy won't let us yet because we're not cool enough. So we'll head on up here and report back to Plane to get our rewards for uh, that quest. Da -da, what's you up? have helped me so much. And she gives us just uh, some extra fish we can use, which I think yeah, we can do with it right now. Anyways. Uh, and then some bait, which we really doesn't matter right now. Fishing doesn't use up activity points, though, so that's <sighs> something worth mentioning as well. Uh, over here, we just have more items. You can find these things all over the place. It's usually worth it to just run around and explore. I don't do it often, because there's a lot. There's, this place is huge. This is a huge monastery. So, but if you want to, you can. One thing I want to mention is this thing right here. Uh, is this amiibo gazebo. Uh, this is for amiibos only. Uh, I won't be using any of the uh, things that uh, that um, come through here. But basically, here's how it works: is that you get an amiibo, you scan them, uh, and if it's just any amiibo, they'll drop these uh, green items all over the place. I'm not going to pick them up because, like I said, they're all really good items, and it's kind of busted to use something like this. If you know, not everybody has amiibos, but I do. I only have two of them now. Um, but you can scan them if you want to and you'll get a bunch of green items but uh, if you have a specifically an amiibo from the Fire Emblem series if you scan that one then you unlock the holy tomb which uh, we can head in there if you want to uh, it's just loading screen just sec so once you get to the holy tomb there's not really much to see in here uh it's massive and then uh, there's a bunch of more green specks around so this is here we're not going to worry about that right now though it's this is all just later stuff i just figured i'd show it off but this is all if you only have an amiibo so yeah <laughs> So if you talk to Sothis down there, she unlocks Sothis' shield, which is, we'll get to that when it's relevant. Uh, so that's pretty much it. There's not much in here. Just kind of a cool view. Items all over the place. And to unlock Sothis' shield is really the only reason this place even exists. So, yeah. We're heading back to the monastery. More loading screens. Come on, man. Alright. Loading screens over. Yeah, but I'm going to leave these green items alone just because... Uh, 
it's kind of unfair to use them if not everybody has amiibos. So if we head in here, Annette's in here, and then this is the reception hall, which we already seen before. There's a priest in there who hasn't loaded in. There's a monk right there who hasn't loaded in. Awesome. Can't go that way. There's Lysithia, the most broken character in this game. We can head to the second floor. This place is incredibly massive. Huge. It's kind of insane. All right. So let's see, uh, head into this area here, Reyes here. I'm kind of amazed they just let people walk in and out of this place. Uh, you can head over here, this is Reyes office, makes not really much of a difference. Talk to Reyes if you want to. Do bear in mind, I hope so. she has anything worth saying. And we head back down the center here, um, to... This is Seth's office, he's not in here. Over here is the captain's quarter where you can usually find Gerald. The church so. has changed. I said it. None of them. Usually you just... There's a lot of dialogue I don't really listen to. It's not all of it's really relevant. There's a shit ton of it, so... Uh, Hahnemann's in here. This is where his office is. And then the infirmary is where Manuela is. And then Alois is right here. And I believe that's all there is to see uh, right now. We ain't doing that. No, no, no. No, come on. There we go. Um... Guess we could check that out. head over to here. This is the library. And then in here you can sometimes find students. Tomas is right here. What he's a the? character. Uh, he's the librarian. And then over here we have just a regular monk. Nothing eventful. That's pretty much all there is. Uh, now once you uh, discover an area anytime, I don't know if you can do it right now. Oh, I guess you can't. Well, must be unlocked later then. Okay. So I believe that's all there really is to see. Uh, our activity points are zero because we had that meal with uh, some of our students, so that's pretty much all there was to it. There's not much anymore to really? do. Uh, yeah, all the quests are done. Quests don't take up time either. So let's see here. I think that's everything that we can do right now. Yeah, I think that's everything. So. Uh, once you use all your activity time, uh, yes. or even if you don't, at any time, if you pause for a second and just don't move, you'll see an option appear in the bottom left-hand corner, press L to finish exploring, and today's free time, and you can just stop. Pretty simple. Oh, I forgot, we're connected to the internet. <laughs> and it's Ferdinand's birthday. Nah. Whenever it's a student's birthday, you can buy them flowers, it raises support levels, but Ferdinand's not even in our, uh... Not even in our, um, our fucking house, so it's not that worth it. So, now that we're here, we can go to the marketplace anytime when we're at this, uh, day starting menu. Uh, the armory is the place where you buy all of your weapons at. You can put them on specific characters or to the convoy. The convoy is kind of just like your overall storage. Whenever you buy items or put items in the convoy, it's just there that anybody can grab at any time. And by that, I mean you give it to them at any time. I probably should have worded that a bit better. When you go through New Game Plus, you unlock, uh, you keep everything that was unlocked, but we're not, uh, I'm not doing that. It's broken as shit. Uh, Iron Sword, Steel Swords, and Silver Sword, and then Brave Sword. I still think Silver Swords are the best, but basically how the weapon order goes of best to worst is Iron, Steel, uh, Silver, and then Brave. But, uh, the thing about the Brave Sword is that it's weaker than the Silver Sword, but it always hits twice. But uh, even then, its hit rate is still less, and a bunch of other things, it, it's really not... It, it, Silver Sword's the best, trust me. Uh, Killing Edge is a different type of sword. Training Sword is just a weaker sword. I don't really know why this is even in the game, if Iron Sword is unlocked at the same time. And then the Leaven Sword is a type of sword that has range to it, if it's used for magic only. If it, just, it uses your sword skill to use magic attacks. It's, there's a whole thing about it. It's, it's useful, just for math purposes. Trust me. Armor Slayer is a weapon that does more damage to enemies with armor than you have the lances. Uh, it's the same thing, your normal iron, silver, you know. And the Killer Lance, which is the same thing, uh, is the Killing Edge. Training Lance and the Javelin is a sword with range that does not use magic. And then uh, Short Spear is just another sword with range, or another spear with range uh, that doesn't use magic. Uh, I think the damage is a little bit more than the, uh, than the Javelin, though. And then the Horse Slayer uh, does extra damage to cavalry or uh, opponents that are riding horses. And then uh, Axes, you have your normal ones. And then you have your Hand Axe, which is an axe that has range. Short Axe, which is an axe that's better but has range. 
and then a hammer and, and the mace are two weapons that do more damage to uh, armored units and then the iron bows now thing about bows is that every single bow in the game does like triple damage against flying units any type of flying unit so except the mini bow apparently i didn't know the mini bow didn't do that so that's worth mentioning as well uh and the mini bow is just uh can't make uh cannot make follow-up attacks from one space away i'm pretty sure that's its only difference uh, yeah that's right this is the bow that can be used for close range i didn't think this is not to weigh later but uh, we have iron, steel, silver, training gauntlets, uh, and that's pretty much it for gauntlets. Now, the thing about gauntlets is that uh, whenever you use them, they pretty much always hit twice, even if your speed does not uh, outdo the enemy. But uh, if your speed does double out, uh, double the enemy's uh, speed, then you actually hit them four times, which uh, isn't. It, it, it kind of balances out, honestly, because the the damage on gauntlets is really, really low. But um, uh, it, it's usually good for crits, basically. If you have a high crit rate and you hit four times in a row, you're probably going to get it. This is almost always going to kill him. The item shop is your normal uh, non-weapon, pretty much everything that's not weapons. Uh, shields, uh, vulnerables, concoctions, and elixirs. Uh, these are those healing items. Vulnerables heal 10, concoctions heal 20, and elixirs heal all of it, which is 99. 99 is the max, so all of it. And then the seals are used for tests uh, to advance classes. Those are for later. Uh, torches, uh, whenever you have a battlefield that's covered in fog, a torch will eliminate the fog or a part of it or an area of it. Um, Antitoxin gets rid of poisoning. I, I don't think, I'm trying to think back right now really hard. In the entire time I've ever played this game, I think I've been poisoned like once. So this is very unnecessary. Pure water uh, temporarily, temporarily increases resistance uh, by seven, and uh, as you every turn that subsequent passes by since you use it, uh, its effects go down and down and down until after I think it's five turns it goes away. Uh, door key and chest key throughout the area of all the battlefields you can find doors and chests. Uh, door keys obviously unlock doors and chests obviously unlock chests. Um, and then the Battalion Guild and the Blacksmith we don't have unlocked yet. So now, if we press, press X, you can do this uh, anytime you're exploring the Monetary or when you're in the startup screen at the beginning of the day. Um, the calendar is basically just exactly what you were looking at. It's nothing eventful. But to know, if you go on the right-hand side of the screen at any time, you can uh, move your cursor around. And if you're at the beginning of the month, you can skip all the way up to the end of the month if you want to. It's just something you can do. Skip everything, and then everything just auto automatizes. If, you, if it doesn't matter, but you can do it. We already went over options, uh, and then guide is basically just you know everything you can do. Just a guide for it. It's pretty simple. Uh, saving, pretty self-explanatory. Storehouse. Storehouse is the place where you store everything that doesn't go in the convoy. So uh, if you catch fish or you can get metals you find around the place, your seeds. This is where you can look at them all if you want to, and then you can also sell them from here as well. I'm not going to do that because I want to keep these stuff for now. Keep this stuff for now. Quests is all the quests you've completed. Support is... Uh, remember how I said that uh, your teammates have support levels with each other? And then if they do things like attack near each other or um, you do activities with your teammates, uh, then your support levels go up. And once you reach certain thresholds, then you can have support conversations. These are kind of just small conversations that don't actually have any bearing on the story all they're really for is just character backstory or character development uh and these are a staple in the fire emblem series and i think they're really cool uh i probably i don't know if i'll show them off because there's a lot of them and these things take up time dude i've seriously spent hours just going through these supports there's so many of them and it just takes so long. So I don't know if I'm going to show them off in the series or not. I might just skip them over the entire series. And then at the end of it, I might do a, upload like a special where I show all of them. Maybe. I'll think about it. So I haven't decided. Uh, inventory. This is the place where you check out your items. Uh, all your character specific items if you want to. I don't know why she has a training axe. She definitely shouldn't have that. Um... So to give a brief rundown of all my characters here, Byleth, he uses swords, Dimitri uses lances, Felix uses swords, Zadu uses axes, Ashes uses a bow, 
Oh, Sylvain uses a lance, Annette uses magic, Mercedes uses a bow, but she also uses white magic or healing magic, so that's pretty much all she's ever used. That's pretty much all I ever use her for. She's not going to be using that bow at all. I don't even know why she has it. And then Ingrid uses lances as well. Now, abilities. Every single character has specific abilities. I already told you about the uh, uh, character-specific ones, uh, the personal ones. These ones are always active, and then underneath where it says class, some classes will give you specific abilities you can use. It's just, uh, if not any of the classes I have right now have any abilities right now, though. And then, uh, equipped is your equip skills that you have, but you also have, uh, sword prowess. So as your sword level goes up, your sword prowess will go up. This skill always just gets better. Same thing with brawling and authority. Any one of these skills that's based on uh, an actual skill you can level up, uh, these ones will just go from level 1 to 2, 3, 4, or 5, and I think it maxes out at 5. But there's other abilities you can get later that don't make much of a difference. Uh, some of them don't, but a lot of them are really broken. So, something worth mentioning. Uh, if you go over, to, let's see, Dimitri's, uh, he multiplies his experience by 1.2. Same thing as the professor's, except for it doesn't do it for other people. Uh, start shield if a unit uses uh, nothing but weight it'll gain plus four defense for the turn uh, Weight it does have its uses besides just always using uh, your option at the end of the turn to always do something Sometimes there's abilities you can get that make weight the better option like plus four for one turn in defense Lone wolf if there's no other uh, if there's no battalion assigned to them then they do five extra damage uh, But I'm being honest with you uh, Battalions are way more worth it, but we'll go into that later. Lockpick. This guy, uh, Ash, can open and unlock doors without any keys at all. Uh, so he's usually the guy you want to use for it in front. If not, then you have to find the enemy that's carrying the key or the uh, and just have them do it. It's a whole thing. Philanderer, if a female uh, ally is adjacent, he deals two extra damage and two takes two less damage during combat. That one's really not that good, if I'm being honest. Uh, and then Live to Serve, uh, which is Mercedes. Uh, whenever she heals an enemy, she recovers the same amount of HP. That's why she's by far the best healer to have. And then Perseverance, uh, if you can use uh, Rally, which is another thing you're able to do to uh, teammates when you're on the battlefield with them. If you get next to a teammate, you can use Rally, and it'll give them plus four strength. And then Ingrid, uh, whenever she uses Gambit, she has a plus three... Uh, damage to it and a uh, plus three hit rate or plus five hit rate now no, some of them are really good some of them are pretty bad we already went over combat arts uh every single character has a combat art you can have multiple combat arts if you have multiple skills that you've leveled up to get more combat arts but um you can only hold a maximum of three but you can have a lot more than three you can only hold three at a time though battalions which we can't go over right now because we don't have battalions well we can but i mean i have battalions but that's all that's all new game plus stuff so we're not gonna worry about it and then reclass this is for once your character reaches level five you can uh, have them take a test where they will qualify or maybe not qualify to take a test um, or they'll be able to qualify to take a test depending on if their skills are at the right point they need to be and then from there they can uh, just get better skills and just start moving forward we'll go over when it's relevant roster just shows you the in detailed page I already showed but you can check out your entire uh, your entire parties if you want to we're not gonna go over it all right now though and then goals this is the most important one so every single character has two goals that they try to work on and what will happen is by default those skills will go up automatically. Um, Dimitri's start out as Lance and Authority because he's good with Lance skills and Authority is used for battalions. Authority is a really good one to use for everybody because you always want to have a battalion equipped to everybody. To do is his Axe and Fist. Uh, the thing about this is you can only you can only equip two skills to have at a time if you want to, but you can also just equip it to one. And uh, I'm gonna switch this other one to heavy armor because that's just more preparing for the future. Just take my word for it. Um, Felix is uh, sword and fist, and I believe that uh, the class I'm gonna end up him having be is it? Okay, no, there we go. Um, I'm pretty sure I want him to be. Uh, Huh. I might have to go over this more in detail later, but uh, I think I need him to be doing magic, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, sword and magic. 
So as you do classes, uh, these skills will level up for your students automatically, just over time, just by their own. So, um, axe and bow, I believe he needs lance and bow, and then later on he's also going to need, um, I, we'll go over that later. I, I got some thinking to do. I, you're probably going to have to write all this down, but... Uh, Sylvain, we're gonna have him do Lance and, uh, Riding, because he's gonna need that Riding skill for later. Uh, Mercedes is fine. She, if you focus only on one skill, it will level up faster. So, if you only have one skill you need to work on, something you can do. And then Ingrid, uh, Sword and Lance, we need her to focus on Lance and Flying. And I'll go over why in just a second. Uh, we need to go over to Reclass. Uh, I guess not. It's not going to show any of it right now, is it? Nope, it's not. Just trust me for later. Uh, once once it's unlocked, I'll show it off. Uh, so now every... We're way over time. Wow, holy shit. So next time we're going to do the mission of this month, which as you heard the people talking before is a mock battle, so we'll do that. But uh, with that, I'm going to end the episode, and I'll see you guys next time.